Fighting is reportedly underway in the eastern Ukrainian city of Mariupol as the army moved in on anti-government protesters in the area. A bank has been set on fire and there are reports of shots and explosions heard all across the city. RT's Polislea is in the region. In the city of Mariupol, we now understand that the army is actually inside the city centre. They have surrounded the local administration building where you currently have a few hundred anti-Kiev protesters. Those protesters are telling us that they're inside, that the army is warning that if they do not leave the building, they will be fired at. The people we've been talking to on the ground say that there are about three to five hundred anti-Kiev protesters, that they're unarmed. I'm in the center of the city. There are a lot of ambulances outside the local administration building. Gunfire is being heard. Armored vehicles have entered the city and are moving towards the center. People are going there as well to prevent the soldiers from shooting. We're hoping they won't shoot at civilians, though from what we've seen before, we're not sure anymore. Armed vehicles started entering the city. Then the firing erupted. Mercenaries or the Ukrainian National Guard opened fire aiming at people's heads. There's no fatalities so far, but I can't say anything about the number of injured. Right now, police have returned from the scene, but people in dark uniforms can be seen in other parts of the city. The showdown for violence is happening inside that city. Now, the protesters have set up barricades. They're burning tires in front of that building. So very dramatic developments coming out of Mariupol. In separate developments in the town of Konstantinovka, we do understand that a military operation has begun there. There is firing. As I say, shots are being heard. We're receiving reports right now that the TV building has been seized by the Ukrainian army and that all transmissions are currently off air. In another development in the city of Donetsk, earlier on Saturday, there we had anti-Kiev protesters seizing the central security building. Now, no more developments since then, but Donetsk is also a hotspot where we're constantly receiving information that there is going to be a showdown and a clash between both sides. RG's Polos Lea is in the region posting all the latest developments on her Twitter feed. Follow Paula to keep right up to date on what's going on in the rest of East of Ukraine.